What's going on everyone? We are going to do a little bit of a video tech session here regarding the new piston that Icon uh, is offering through UEM. I think they are the same. We have a nice, I'll tell you, let's put that back there. Nice spec sheet that they include with you, with you to talk to you about spiral locks, how to install them, circ clips, talking about offset pin bores, etc. Giving you specifications for rings, etc. Uh, so on and so forth. So good little spec sheet there. When you open up the box, this is what you get. I live in California. Sorry. <laughs> These are your circ clips. Come in a little little folder bag here. You got your ring kits that come in there individually boxed, very similar to what Wiseco and CP and everybody else does. So this is really nice. I'll go over the, the specifications on these rings here in just a little bit, but I want to get to uh, the pistons. So looking at the pistons, uh, good packaging. Um, would like to see probably a little bit more around these edges here because some of the delivery drivers in our area, pretty much all over the country, they really don't give a shit what they're dropping off people's doorsteps, so they'll bang this stuff around. However, uh, everything made it good here. Um, they come individually bagged. And in particular, this piston kit for the VG30, they do also make ones for the RB25, 26, Subaru, uh, 2JZ, and, if, and some Honda, stuff like that. So uh, if you guys are out there looking for an alternative to some of these pistons, this is a good starting point, I think. And uh, for the price point of what's here, uh, I'm going to pull this one out of the bag and let the pin out. So what's special about what Icon is actually doing uh, with these pistons for the import market? Well, for one, it's nice to see another player in the game. Uh, I know Icon's been around for a little while, uh, but they haven't really dove into the import market very well. So this is their first attempt at getting their feet wet, which is really nice. Uh, I called them after I got an account with them a while back and noticed that they made the import pistons and they had actually a VG30. So I was like, oh, well, let me make a phone call and see what's going on with these. And when you start researching about what they're offering for the value that you're paying for, they're pretty much all in a category on their own. And I'm not saying that just as, as a, they're a better piston than um, CP or Wiseco or um, Ross or any of the JE or any of the other guys out there. I'm just saying that for the value of what you're getting here, you're getting a very, very good quality piston, and here's why. Uh, wrist pins are really nice. Um, I think this is a 160 or 180 wall pin. I'll double verify the radio wall on this. Very good pin. It comes in at two and a half inches in length. Uh, CP and some others come in at two and a quarter, uh, but these are two and a half. Um, but what's nice about the piston? Well, the first thing I notice on here is that they've got a lot of material here in the skirt. It's also a fully skirted piston, which is very nice for an aftermarket deal. CP makes one, Wiseco makes one. Uh, but JE, uh, on the older ones, and there's some ones that they make, uh, they, all, they, will, they will do an asymmetrical skirt, and for boosted applications, we don't really like that because there's a lot of inconsistency with the pistons rocking in the bore and causing ring failure and sealing issues, etc. However, uh, this being a full skirted piston, you get a little more stability in the bore. Uh, we like the fact that they have a radial sidewall here, right there at the pin wall. Um, but look how thick this area is right here. This is really good. This is a lot of stability here. Pretty thick skirt material here. Comes with a silk screen icon for the skirt coating. Uh, standard, this is standard size, so it's 87 mil. It does run a standard 866 or 22 mil pin. Um, but the forging is really nice. It's 2618 material. But the other thing I like about it is they come standard with lateral gas ports. Most other people are charging extra for lateral gas ports. These are included. What's also really nice, you notice the difference in the color there. The top ring land is hard anodized. So you're getting a lot of durability in that top ring land for forced induction applications. This is eight and a half to one compression setup. They can do custom compressions if you would like, compression ratios. Uh, but for what you're buying here, I think this kit runs around 650, 700 bucks. That is a steal considering what you're getting. No other piston that I know of on the market and is incorporating lateral gas ports, skirt coating, and hard anodized for that price, along with a ring kit and pins and clips. So this is a really, really good deal for guys that are trying to stay on a budget, but understand it's a little bit more, but you're also getting a lot of features for your for your dollar. So take that into consideration if you're shopping around. I don't see any problem running this piston, making you know 800 horsepower or more. I would just uh, tell you that, get a little bit of a thicker pin to support that if that's what you're trying to do. Uh, guys that want to make, you know, five, six, seven hundred horsepower, I think this will be adequate. 
Uh, but um, we're trying to work with them to see if they can include a heavier duty wall pin for this application because a lot of guys are making more power on these engines and it'd be nice to have a uh, out, I should say off the shelf or out of the box pin that comes with this piston that you can go straight into and not have to worry. So that's it for the pistons that are, that are concerned. So very nice finish, uh, pretty lightweight. Uh, I have to measure this for you. I don't have anything right off the top of my head. I don't see any, oh, that specs are on the side here. So you can see 2618 dish and this thing is a standard bore. I'm trying to look to see if there is, is there a weight on this? I don't see a weight, but I can weigh it. Or you guys can do that yourself if uh, you guys can go to the machine shop and have them do that for you. As far as the ring pack is concerned, like I said, it comes with ring pack that's very similar to what uh, CP, Wiseco, and other ones guys use um, in the packaging. If you go through, it does run a steel AP top, which is advanced profile ring, um, similar to what, it's actually a total seal deal for like for what they offer. It's just a good stainless steel ring. You got your standard rail supports and your oil feed ring, which are really good. And what's also nice is that the oil ring, get that off of there, the oil ring is a taper hook groove or what they call a THG ring. So it does have a positive scrape function for oil control. I'm trying to see if I can zoom in on that for you. That's going to, I don't know if it's going to do that or not for you or not, but maybe it will. I don't know. But there's an undercut on this ring. If it'll allow me to do that. And there it is right there. So that's going to help with oil control in the cylinder bore. So that's a standard. Uh, Wiseco, I believe, has the same option. CP uses a barrel face ring, but it's it's a little higher tension on it, which is really nice. It does a fantastic job. Uh, just know that th with the Icon piston here, it comes with a THD ring, so you actually get a good quality ring as well. Um, so overall, I mean, what's there not to like about this? Nothing. I think the only thing that I don't like is really the pin, but, you know, it's you guys are modifying your engines and stuff. I mean, it would be nice if they had an, a... a thicker radio wall pin that might be an upcharge later on i mean they never come i don't know but if you guys are going for a big power i mean you should be looking for a wrist pin that's suiting your application anyways i think for the vast majority of the people they're going to buy these this pin will be more than enough uh but what's not to like about this piston i wouldn't touch anything regarding this piston at all i wouldn't even put a skirt coating on this i wouldn't even touch the top at all i'd leave it exactly the way it is so I know you guys are going, oh, well, you guys you guys do nothing but coatings. That's right, we do. And we like doing coatings. We suggest them all the time. They're very standard on all the builds that we do. But it's nice to have an application out there that does this already, so there's no extra hassle. So you guys are saving a little bit more money. Uh, you don't have to spend money to get things coated. You don't have to spend extra money to get lateral gas ports. Um, everything is pretty much there. I would say for the vast majority of people that want a good quality piston, that's more of a drop in. They make they go up to 88 millimeter just like everybody else does for a shelf application. Um, this is a quality product. I don't see any reason why no one should be not looking at this. Um, we'll be using these for some of the budget stuff going forward to try them out. I think they're going to do very very well. Um, and that's basically it, guys. I mean, if, if you really wanted to get crazy with the coatings, I mean, I'm sure we could go through and rip this off, blast that off, and put a, a dry film lubricant. This is a silk screen. It's not bonded to the substrate of the piston. So do understand this is uh, not. A, this is more for a break-in purpose. It's not a, a permanent system like what we do when we blast and coat the skirts. But I think it's a good start um, for guys just wanting to get into this. So... Shout out to the guys at UEM for Icon for getting these import pistons. They This is the Elite version. They also make an Elite Extreme, I think is what it's called. Don't quote me, but you can look them up on their website or the pistons that they have to offer. The Extremes have basically double amount of everything. It's, it's the different forging, it's different radial wall pin, heavy duty applications. I wouldn't be surprised if they start making these in the extreme versions as well, if they start selling these more often. I think that uh, a lot of guys should look at these, and if the sales are as good as I'm hoping that they will be for them, then they might offer an extreme version of this, which would be really fantastic. So shout out to those guys. Uh, great to see this stuff coming out. Uh, we're always trying to be ahead of, every, ahead of the ball, or ahead of the curve, I should say, on all the VG stuff that comes out. Um, we've got more things coming, a lot of debuts coming out for 2021 with us, um, and we cannot wait to share those things with you as they progress. So 
Thanks for watching. Definitely search these out. If you have any questions, feel free to drop us a message. If you're interested in ordering a set, please, by all means, give us a call. Shoot us a message. We can get you set up with these as well as a good set of rods. Uh, we vend everything from signs, Carrillo, you know, you name it. We've got everything under the sun that we can offer you for the VG. Um, so, yeah, definitely check these guys out. This is, uh, this is a quality product. I would definitely run these in my own car if I had one that I was building right now. But, unfortunately, I don't because I'm too damn busy building shit for everybody else. It's just the way that it goes. Um, but, yeah, check these guys out. Definitely worth your time. Take care.